Welcome to Night Hacking uh, here in Sao Paulo at TDC. Um, my name is Yolande Poirier and I work for Oracle, uh, for the Oracle Technology Network. My guest today is Ricardo. Ricardo, hi. Hello. Uh. So, uh, Ricardo, you, so what do you do for a living? Well, nowadays I'm working as senior software engineer at Red Hat. I'm working for uh, developing and integrating uh, middleware solutions for our cloud portfolio. Okay. And so, and you wanted to talk to us uh, today about uh, thermostat, right? Yeah, thermostat. Okay. Um, it's an open JDK uh, tool? That's yeah, uh, thermostat is a call for the community to have something like mission control or any other JVM tool for monitoring uh, single or multiple JVMs. So no matter if it's local, it's remote, or if it's on running on cloud, Thermostat is uh, the open source project uh, we're working on to have uh, some kind of monitoring and control system for open JDK. Okay, and so you wanted to demo, uh, do a, a, a quick demo about the tool, right? Yeah, uh, but so show us. We want to see it. Yeah, before I show the the okay. demo, uh, I'd like to show the architecture of oh. thermostat. Uh, as I as I said, thermostat is a is a tool for monitoring a single JVM locally or multiple JVMs in uh, multiple servers. So w how can we do that using thermostat? So this is the simplified architecture for thermostat. Uh, as you can see, there's a backend storage uh, using MongoDB. You can use a single MongoDB instance or multiple MongoDB nodes in a replica set. And then uh, we have a process running in each server, which is the thermostat agent. And this is the process that collects all the information regarding the JVMs. And then, at last, uh, you can see all this information using a GUI client, a graphical interface, a CLI, or even a, an Eclipse plugin. Okay, so you can monitor a bunch of stuff, right? Storage, your database, data flow, and so forth. Yeah. So <laughs> okay. this is my terminal. I have multiple terminals because I have multiple virtual machines running it. Mm -hmm. uh, in the left terminal, we a bunch of output is my web storage. Uh, we call the, the component of for thermostat that we store all the information with MongoDB called thermostat uh, web storage. And then the three terminals in the right are my three VMs running the thermostat agent. So basically, all I have are servers with thermostat uh, agents configure it to, to capture all information regarding the uh, running Java, Java process. Uh, now, let me show the graphical interface for thermostat. So this is the graphical interface for thermostat. As you can see, we have three agents uh, which represent each server. I have agent one, agent two, and agent three, mm -hmm. and there are some J Java process running. Uh, let me run um, another Java process in agent three. So it's it's a Java application server, and let's go back to agent three, and there it is. There's my new Java process running. So there. I can collect all information about Java and the process itself. I uh, can see the user ID, uh, start time, stop time, if, I, if the process is stopped, the process ID. There I have the CPU tab, where I can see information about the CPU usage for the Java process. Yep. I have a profiler. I have garbage collection. Garbage collector. NUMA, memory, and there you can see each uh, heap region um, uh, being used. 
Now the heap analyzer where I can collect heap dumps. And this is IO, this is thread, this is JIT compiler information classes, and this particular tab is another open source project for Red Hat uh, and JBoss itself. Uh, it called Whiteman. Whiteman is uh, a tool for uh, debugging running Java processes using some kind of rules. So for example, let's say I, I want to intercept uh, Java lang string and using some random method and I need to, to print out the information ab about the, the moment that the method is called. So I can uh, write a rule in Whiteman and inject in using thermostat in the running Java process and then I can collect more information about the running Java process. Mm, so for I example, see. I can generate a rule template here and then as you can see, there's a rule name, a class, the method. I can use a helper class, uh, the point of interception, if I have conditions and then I have methods to collect information about this uh, moment when the JVM is running. So that's it. <laughs> that's the demo for the thermostat. There are lots of information about thermostat in the wiki. Uh, also, there's the CLI. Uh, I didn't prepare a demo for the CLI tool, but it's kind of the same thing, but using the terminal. And you can collect all this information using the CLI, the, uh, the graphical interface, and also uh, an Eclipse plugin. OK. So is that something that you use also on your day-to-day -day, uh, development? Yeah, percent? every time. Ah, OK. Oh, very good. OK, sure. thank you so much uh, for talking to us today. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for, Thanks the for the demo. It was impressive. Good? Thank you. Thanks.